Hello viewers! Uh, this is a, a like a two level blog basically, it's not only just a blog, it's also a review for fashionstyleu.co.uk I am your intrepid, oh my arm's bleeding, I am your intrepid reporter Luna Echelon and as you might see my hair is a rather funny colour right now, it's green and purple and blue and god knows what and this is because Roxy here Hello. helped me bleach out my hair the other day and the dye did not work the strand tests were fine but the dye wasn't and it just washed straight out this is literally just after this is fresh from dye it's not bright it's not funky it's annoying and so i thought bit me being me i would buy some color before this is let's see if i can get it on camera there we go this is color before it comes from boots i had to actually order it offline because no store holds it i have to specifically order it offline and it called this is the extra strength and it costs 12 pounds 25 plus £2.95 postage and packing, which makes it rather a lot of money. It doesn't have a total on here, and my maths is terrible. Um, and so for all that money, instead of putting it in a nice tight-fitting box, they shoved it in this, with a load of packaging uh, that I didn't need. And I have to say, I did get a freebie. I did get a nice freebie, and it's Champney, Champney's Introduction to Spa Luxury, so freebie ahoy. Anywho. Basically, I haven't owned it yet. This is the first kind of like looking at it and I've had to just have a quick read through of the ingredients to make sure there's nothing in it that I'm allergic to. And you'll be happy to know there is nothing to do with nut oils in this. I know that um, a lot of colour strippers do contain nut oils to nourish your hair. So I open the box. We have after treatment buffer. Oh, we have an after treatment. Ooh instructions would you like to read those for me because Roxy's going to be the lovely lady putting it on for me and you get gloves but we're going to use our own they're not very good no and basically it looks like basically like um, a color mix you've got extra mm. remover and extra activator and I think you put the activator into the remover shake it up and shove it on I'll soon find that one out for you yeah shake well pour entire con it contents a that's number a number A, that's letter A even, <laughs> and that is the extra activator, this is extra remover, and you pour A into B and shake well, and then you have to apply immediately and do not store. It also says to refer to the instruction leaflet, which is what the lovely Roxy is doing now, however processing should never exceed 60 minutes. I have to state that the website, on the web, on the boots.com website, the guy that makes it, um, Scott Scott Cornwall I'm sorry I'm terrible with names um, That's this is the guy that developed it that made it um, he says not to leave it for any he said 20 <coughs> minutes is usually plenty long enough however up to an hour may be necessary for darker shades so with any luck this should come out quite easily I have a strange feeling we're going to need cling film so I shall go grab that in a minute and I shall get back to this once we sort it out the instructions and we've pretty much got a handle on it however it does have rather conflicting instructions because it's telling us to what it, the bottles have instructions on the back and this bottle is telling me that once these are all mixed in in my hair once it's been on uh, for 30 minutes for the normal application or we've got the extra strength so we've got to leave it on for a full hour that's 60 minutes just to break it down for you and the directions say to leave this up, to wash this out for 10 minutes. You've got to rinse it over and over again for 10 minutes. Not only that, but once you've put this in, you have to leave it on for, lather it, leave it for one minute, and then rinse it for five minutes. It's very specific. And then you've got to reapply a second layer, and then rinse that out for two minutes. However, reading the instructions, it says I've got to rinse this out for what, 12 minutes? Yeah. 12 minutes altogether. So I don't quite understand that one, but okay. It also says, this is going to make it very, rather expensive if it doesn't work. Um, I've already made the decision that if this does not pull the colour from my hair, I'm going to go, I'm going to see first, obviously, how it's pulled the colour out and if we can fix it with the colour that's on the way, because I have hair dyes on the way. And um, if it doesn't do what we're hoping for, if it ruins my hair, I will be going to a hairdresser. However, this actually says that if the first application does not give you the results you want, i.e. it doesn't lighten it enough, it doesn't take off all the colour, you can actually apply two more to it and at £12.25 each 
that makes it rather expensive. Um, in hindsight, I would say it was probably going to be cheaper for me to go to a hairdresser's and have my hair bleach bathed and ripped and stripped that way. But this is one of those things of hindsight is 2020. Now I'm going to switch off the camera and we are going to move into the bathroom because I don't want to get chemicals anywhere in my room because I have a lovely little dog in here. And we will be back with you shortly. Just mixed it and it goes, once you've mixed it all together, it stinks. It really does. One part smells on its own, but the second part is hideous. Um, when it's all mixed together, it will go a faint green colour. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's a very faint green tinge and it stinks. When you open it, it will fizz. So be careful. Be very careful. Keep it away from your face. Now, we're going to get this on my hair and then I'll do another little segment once it's on my hair and we're finished trying to breathe through our mouths. Because I can't actually describe how this smells. <laughs> Please be aware, okay? <laughs> I think you can see me. Um, we've got it on. I can tell you it stinks like rotten cabbage. It is awful and I recommend that you use in a well ventilated area and if at all possible use it outside. Because it stinks and it's awful. I mean, we're in quite a small room here because this is my bathroom, obviously I don't want to ruin my, everything else. We're in the bathroom and we've got the window open and it's awful. I'm just about to put some cling film on my hair to stop it from dripping, to stop it from running anywhere, to keep it all on my head. And I will be back with you in about an hour and let you know how it all goes. Things and peoples, as you can see, it has not taken me back to... Uh, what it said it should be, basically um, we were reading the packaging again and it says that if you've bleached your hair it is safe to use on bleached hair, however it will just take you back to the lightest shade which would be blonde. Um, well it's not done that, it's taking me back to a pale green and I've not styled it, I've just dry, let it dry and it's like straw, it's really really dry and frizzy, it's disgusting, there is no coming back from this. Um, when I washed it out it was like a bird's nest on my head it was literally like straw, it was awful. So I am, um, believe it or not, I am just about to go and shave my hair off because there is no coming back from this. This is dead. This is, it's awful. The ends are disgusting. Um, as you actually just run your hands through it, it's dry. There is no amount of conditioner that's going to bring this back in any way, shape or form. And I'm not impressed. I would not recommend this product because they just say to use another one on top of it, which I'm not about to do. And I'm definitely not about to put any more bleach on top of it to get rid of the green. And the only thing to do is get rid of my hair. So I'm going to be wearing a wig for the foreseeable future. I've still got some um, conditioner on my forehead. I'm going to be wearing a wig for the foreseeable future because I'm going to have no hair, down to the fact that it's killed me, my hair. Um, Marks out of 10, nil. It smells terribly. Um, and when, I mean, I, you can't, this, there is still a smell in this room and we've had the window and the doors open for the past hour and a half. Um, putting it on itself takes about 20 minutes to put it on. Yeah. And once it's on, your head gets warm. And whether you wrap it or not, because there's a section at the back of my hair that wasn't wrapped. Um, and that bit's even drier than the section that was wrapped. Um, your hair goes warm if it, I felt like when I bleach my hair I feel like I've got ants running over my head anyway but this was ten times that it's really annoying it's really itchy um, it didn't burn but I do have a couple of sore patches on my head and we're not going to know exactly what's going on with those until we shave off my hair um, but no I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it to anyone I can't actually do anything with my hair this I just left it and this is what it's done and as I'm pulling my hands through it, I can see the ends floating off and breaking off. And I don't know if you can really tell, but <laughs> my phone's just gone off. That's the end of my hair. It's got split ends. And it's going at least halfway up the shaft of the hair. So there's your review, customers. Do not buy colour before extra strength. Do not buy colour before. If you're not happy with your hair colour, leave it to wash out. And I, 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 I'm horrified. My mum's going to kill me, <laughs> which is a given, I think, right now. But yeah, I would not go for it. Don't. It's a waste of £12.25. 
if you're really not happy with your hair colour, go see your hairdresser and get them to deal with it. Because I don't think even they could deal with this. And it, I, don't think, I don't actually think I've got any blonde patches at all. No, it's all green. And I've got a small red patch on my head. I don't know if it, the camera's picking it up. Pull across this way. Right? Sorry, this way? You can just make it out. I don't know if you can catch it. There is a tiny little red patch just running there. Yeah, you can see it. And that, that's where one area we saw, another area is down the back here. So, yes, there is your review. Um, make your own minds up for yourself. I'm going to go with them. I was given mixed reviews before I used this. So I'm going to go with the ma vast majority and say it's a complete waste of money and it's ruined my hair. I wouldn't mind so much if the hair wasn't ruined because the colour's kind of funky. But no, let, let's not. Let's stay away from this forevermore. <laughs>